In this video, I am going to show you how you can use styleline.nvm and replace lowerline.nvm with it. So you can go to their GitHub page, which will be in the description and you can copy this packer.nvm part and then you can go to your plugins file and find lowerline.nvm. I'm going to replace lowerline.nvm with styleline. So instead of lower line, I want to add this. Let's add a comma at the end. Okay. Now instead of lower line config, we want style line config. Uh, let's find lower line. Okay. Now let's uh, go to the configuration and I'm just going to remove this for now. Let's restart new one and do Parker sync. Yes, now it has installed the plugin and also let's change the loading auto command for that uh, lua, not lower line style line let's change this to buff read and now we can run packer compile okay now that's done let's go to our style line in it dot lua and type require style line dot normal so what we are going to do here i'm going to add some uh, configurations in this folder first one is going to be normal dot lua and one is going to be simple dot lua and one will be simpler dot lua Okay, now let's, uh, I'll show you the normal configuration. I'll just uh, copy and paste it. It's a little big. Okay, so let's open this. Just a second. Yes, now I have the icons also. If I restart Neo web, Let's just run packer sync and see what the problem is. Okay, error running config for styleline.nm module styleline.normal not found. Okay, uh, I have to add styleline config.normal. Config.normal. Now it should work, yes. And I'll just copy paste uh, uh, the other configurations which I have. This one is uh, the simple one. Yes. Now let's see. Uh, I have to actually change it in the init.lua style line init. Okay, error running config for styleline.nm. Unexpected symbol at. Okay, yes. Uh, I have this file here. Okay, now this is the simple configuration. And let's do the simpler one. Okay, now uh, all of these configurations, it will be in the uh, description and in the NFS repository. NFS is the new M from scratch configuration, if you didn't know. Let's do simpler. Okay, 
now we have this one so this is the this is a very minimal uh, status line okay so let's just take a look at the configuration let's do the simpler one first uh, so require styling dot setup as always for uh, all the plugins we we use this uh, the require function and it has some uh, sections uh, left middle and right in the left section we can add whatever we want here and you can also find some example configurations in the repository <coughs> so this is the default configuration uh, it will look like this you can customize this to look however you want you can change the separators symbols all that you can also customize the colors in different modes and you can add icons for different modes and lsp support is also there so now uh, let's see the simple one simple one has uh, a lot of things this is for the uh, level uh, let me show you what this is uh, let's open style line config slash init dot lower let's use the simple one okay so in this configuration let me open my telescope config which is a little bit so as i go down uh, this bar will increase like this so that looks very nice and here I have the file name, date and time and here the mode. One thing to keep in mind is that uh, I'm using rose pine color scheme and if you are using a different color scheme, you uh, you will have to change, uh, change the colors of uh, the status line according to your color scheme. So let's uh, see the normal one. So uh, it is basically the same but uh, just different values here all I have rose pine colors you you will have to change these if you are using a different color scheme and I think that's it for this video uh, maybe in another video if I ever switch to stab line I will show you how to use it stab line is the buffer line which they provide inside of uh, styline.nm uh, here s tab line is there you can just replace buffer line uh, with that if you want to the reason why i have switched to styline from uh, lua line.nm is that uh, it has decreased the startup time by a lot so that's why I like Styline and uh, it looks, it is very customizable and it is very minimal. That is the reason why I like Styline more. So that's it for this video. If you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe and uh, also like the video. And that's it. Bye bye.